Amen. Did I do it right? <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry everyone for the technical problem. Um, my, my talk is really just a little bit, I was invited to this ETHA um, and thank you Eleanor and the team for the lovely letter on my, on my seat. Um, I just thought I, sh we can, I can use this opportunity to say hi and also um, welcome to DevConnect because DevConnect is, you know, the EF hosts the entire week, but we don't really hold any specific event and I will explain the reason why. So this is, this is a chance for us to say hi, and also there are other DevConnect team members around here, Skylar here and others, and so that I can, you know, like explain why we are doing this. Um, so, how is everyone? <laughs> are, you, are you excited to be able to travel around and then get together again? So, yes, and then COVID has been very challenging and uh, we are very fortunate to be able to get together here, but it has been also difficult for the DevCon team, our DevCon team, uh, to make decisions and execute especially because we couldn't predict how the restrictions would be. And so, um, as, you, so that, as you know, this year, 2022, is very important for Ethereum. Other years have been also important, but this year there is the merge, which I'm pretty sure Tim Baker and Trent are going to talk about after me. But, um, and there are unique challenges for the Ethereum's ecosystem of public goods. Teams and individual contributors are all spread out. We all work remotely. Um, and it's great that we are able to work that way. But at the same time, COVID kind of reminded us the importance of getting together occasionally. So the discussion for DevConnect started with a request from our researcher, Danny Ryan. Who knows Danny Ryan? Oh, if you don't, you should. <laughs> he is the very important person for what's happening. Um, but anyway, so at that time, we were not really 100% sure whether we were able to hold have gone this year in 2022. So the request was like, hey, there is this magic that DevCon can create when all the important researchers and developers are in one location. Ethereum always makes a huge progress. And there are always some supplies and also the unexpected. Um, so so that, that the request was, how can we make sure we can have another gathering in this year? And then also, you know, like with fewer res restrictions, as few as possible. So that's how, uh, how it started. And then like I said, the magic of getting together is very, very important for us or for the public goods Ethereum. And while being able to work together remotely actually is making it possible for the ecosystem to be decentralized and diverse, but there is undeniable productivity we can create by getting together in one room. So this is how the decision of DevConnect was made and our team. So actually, uh, one crazy thing is organizing DevCon is a lot of work. <laughs> I always say that EF is not a DevCon company, but uh, the team DevCon has to do a lot of work, and then the same team, because of the request, had to work on this. Skyler, <laughs> he's there, and then I think where is Natalia? So all <laughs> she's there. All our amazing team members had to work last few months 
uh, very, very hard. Um, so the goal is very simple. Let important conversations and the magic and then act unexpected happen. Have you ever felt at DevCon that you didn't, you don't have enough time and space to, for an important discussion? For example, let's say like you join, I, okay, you went to listen to a talk about zero knowledge. And then after the talk, uh, you walk to the speaker and then start asking questions. And, and then because the next, next talk is happening, you start talking in the hallway, and there are other domain experts around you, they all start joining the conversation, and it suddenly becomes like a 20 people conversation. But there's not enough space, people have to go to the next thing. So that happens a lot at DevCon. And DevCon includes everyone involved in the Ethereum community, and the Ethereum community has grown massively, and the demographics have also grown. And DevCon is great for a close collaboration between domains. But at DevConnect, we try to facilitate depth-first uh, events. And it's smaller, intimate, with people who are very interested in the topic. Each domain's expert is running hours of discussions at a separate location. So the lots of important topics are happening on the same day throughout the week, which might be frustrating, but this is intentional. You have to choose the domain you are most interested or you are, like, your expertise are in. And DevConnect is not one event, like I said. It's not a conference. It's more like borrowing the city of Amsterdam for the public goods R&D and other important discussions. And Amsterdam is a special city, as you can already see, tech center of Europe, a hub for environmental sustainability, which is also appropriate for this year, and one of the world's most multicultural cities, many different people and many perspectives, just like we have in the Ethereum community. And the most importantly, you are the ones to organize. EF secure different venues and help the logistics for each organizer. Our team is here to help, but each event and discussion are run by specific domain experts, like I said. And how we support, uh, number one, I got this from the team, so I'm leading the list from the team. Signaling towards place, time, for a global community to reunite. Number two, Publicity of individual events through website, calendar, and Twitter. Number three, co-work space, open to all to get work done. Network, relax, focus. There is a co-working space. Um, I hope you already got the ticket. That's where you can have meetings. Of course, you can also use different places, like a cafe, nice cafe in this beautiful city. So unlike DevCon, which carries the history, um, but Dev, Dev Connect is very new, supposed to be temporary. We'll see. But, so we can both experiment at the time of making sure to reflect Ethereum's core values and, and our principles. And like I said, the week is for all about you. But the way we made these decisions are based on the core principles of the Ethereum Foundation. Infinite Garden is the image of the vision that I started to use to describe the Ethereum ecosystem, and the principles are also aligned with these. And uh, this morning, just about maybe two hours ago, we just released the report, the Ethereum Foundation report. This is kind of like a new, new way to explain everything about the Ethereum Foundation. Um, so that this also describes these principles, along with other things, teams, some financials from 2021, last year, and examples of grants we have given in the past. This is on our Twitter, so please check that out. And, and this is a sneak peek, three principles. 
that are described in the report. I will talk about this more uh, at Shenang Point in the morning of Thursday this week, if you're interested. And you will understand more of why you are the main stars for us. And I do have to mention DevCon is also happening this year. Uh, it is happening October uh, 11th to 14th in Bogota, Colombia. So <laughs> I, I hope you're excited. We've been waiting for this for two years. Um, and according to the DevCon team, it's supposed to be the best DevCon ever. And then I, I'm feeling it too. So hope you can also join. And thank you, bedankt. <laughs> and enjoy your adventure. <laughs> <laughs>